G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at some of the worst hangovers from either a premiership season or simply a year where a team makes the grand final. To clarify that, if you don't know what a hangover is, it refers to when a team significantly drops down the ladder after a year of success. Now, the more common term is premiership hangover, where a team drops down after winning the flag, but for this video, we've kind of widened it to teams that made the grand final, perhaps didn't do so well, and dropped down the ladder the subsequent year. So I've picked eight teams since the year 2000 to achieve a hangover. Six of them were grand finalists, and and the other two actually won the flag as well. So the strict criteria is they had to have at least played in the grand final. Before we get into the video, do go check out the sponsors of today's video, manscaped.com. You can get 20% off and free shipping on their great male grooming products. They have recently launched the Lawnmower 4.0 and a heap of other products and accessories as well. So go to the link in the description or head to manscaped.com and you can get 20% off free shipping by using the code TRUEFOOTY20, all caps, all one word. Let's get into the video. So the first team I'm gonna nominate is the Adelaide Crows Football Club for making the grand final in 2017 and their subsequent hangover in 2018. Now, as you'll probably remember, the Crows topped the ladder in the 2017 season, made it through to the grand final only to get rolled by a rampant Richmond side by eight goals. And that would of course springboard a bit of a Richmond dynasty. Now on top of a pretty uninspiring performance in the grand final, Adelaide's pain was compounded by players like Jake Lever, Charlie Cameron, and Mitch McGovern requesting trades to other clubs. On top of that, the 2018 preseason was where the whole training camp business happened. Without going into too much detail, the Crows were basically accused of mishandling a player camp and that led to a lot of player discontent. That turmoil obviously then translated into results as the Crows plummeted to 12th spot in the 2018 season. It's also worth mentioning that the Crows had a positive record that year of 12 wins and 10 losses with a percentage of 104% and yet they still finished 12th. So it was obviously a very competitive season, but they were the 12th best side that year. As we know, Adelaide sort of surged into a rebuild since then, haven't really recovered and haven't made the finals since that grand final. For the next team, we're staying in the state of South Australia and I'm gonna nominate Port Adelaide for their team that made the grand final in 2007 and plummeted in the 2008 season. Now in 2007, Port Adelaide finished second on the AFL ladder with a record of 15 wins and seven losses. And they went into a grand final against the Geelong Cats of the MCG, of course, and rightfully believed that they could win the game based on their round 21 win against them at what was probably called Skilled Stadium back then, but is now known as GMHBA. Instead, however, they were of course slaughtered by the Cats by 119 points, which stands even today as the greatest winning margin in a grand final ever. They did not recover well from this grand final loss and they flipped their record around the following year with seven wins and 15 losses. They would finish bottom four that year and it would kind of kickstart a little rebuild for Port Adelaide, which would see them fail to make the finals again until 2013. The next team we're gonna mention is a particularly recent one. We're talking about the GWS Giants for their 2019 grand final team that failed to make the finals in 2020. Now, as we know, in 2019, the Giants were a bit of a shock grand finalist. They finished sixth, won two away finals to set up a historic grand final debut against the Richmond Tigers. It's worth noting that this year in 2019 was just the second time in history that neither of the top two teams on the ladder would be facing off in the grand final. The Giants would be embarrassed, however, hardly firing a shot all day and went down by whopping 89 points. Now, as we know, the 2020 season was a pretty mixed up year, but by round 11, the Giants actually had found themselves in the top eight, despite battling both form and injury. Disappointingly though, they would drop five of their last seven games to finish the season in 10th spot. In 2021, that sort of malaise of the Giants and that probably that underachieving has continued, but at the time of recording this video, they currently sit inside the top eight in the 2021 season. The next team we're gonna nominate is the Hawthorne Footy Club back in 2008 and 09, following their stunning premiership in 2008. Now, as you will recall, Hawthorne won what was a pretty famous grand final in 2008 to upset the much more highly fancied Geelong. Now, Hawthorne did finish top two themselves with an impressive record of 17 and five. However, they were still definitely considered underdogs given Geelong had gone through the season with a record of 21 and one. Now, as I'm sure you'll recall, Hawthorne won that grand final by 26 points and it almost felt like a flag was a little bit premature for such a young, talented group. Now, the following year, equilibrium was almost kind of restored. Hawthorne failed to make the top eight with what is a pretty average record of nine wins and 13 losses. Now, of course, as I'm sure you all know, this would prove to be a very minor blip in the radar for the Hawthorne Footy Club, who would go on to win premierships between 2013 and 2015. 
The next team we're going to nominate as having a bit of a hangover is the Western Bulldogs for their 2016 effort, followed by a disappointing 2017. Now, of course, the Dogs will pull off one of the most remarkable premiership stories in 2016, beating the Swans in the grand final after having finished seventh in the regular season. They would have to overcome an away final in Perth, then a semi-final at the MCG against the reigning premiers, an away prelim in Sydney against the Giants before taking on Sydney in the grand final. They became and remain the only team to win a flag outside the top four in the current final system. Now, similar perhaps to what happened to Hawthorne in 2009, the young Bulldog side couldn't quite deliver on expectations and failed to make the finals the following year. They would bounce out of the finals into 10th spot before sliding even further to 13th in 2018. It would take the Dogs until 2019 to re-enter the finals fray, although where we sit currently in 2021, it's late in the season, the Dogs are on top of the ladder and are a good chance to pinch another premiership. The next hangover team we're going to discuss is the Brisbane Lions over the 2004 and 2005 seasons. Now, as I'm sure you'll be aware, Brisbane made a historic three-peat over the 2001 to 2000 and three seasons and then in 2004 they finished second on the ladder with a record of 16 and 6 and qualified for their fourth grand final in a row. It was a chance to make a four peak for just the second time in AFL VFL history but they were rolled by Port Adelaide by 40 points. 2005 would get off to a rocky start for the Brisbane Lions they would win just one of their first five games and plummet to 11th on the ladder by the end of the season. Now the Lions would then have to wait till 2009 for the next finals appearance and then sadly a further decade after that for their next one. The next team we'll discuss is Collingwood over the 2003 and 2004 seasons. Now in 2003, the Pies would go down to the Lions in the grand final despite finishing above them in second that year. Now in contrast to the close 2002 decider, the Lions absolutely battered the Pies here by 50 points to take out a historic three-peat. The Pies couldn't lift themselves up the ladder in the 2004 season, winning just one game from their first eight attempts and plummeted into the bottom four with a record of eight and 14. They would drop even further in the 2005 season into the bottom two before a resurgence the following year saw them back in fifth spot. Despite the sharp drop off in form, it allowed the Pies access to players in the draft such as Travis Cloak, Scott Pendlebury and Dale Thomas, which were of course important pieces of the 2010 Premiership side. The final team we're going to mention is the Melbourne Demons for their efforts in the 2000 season and then followed by the 2001 season. The Demons would finish third on the ladder in the 2000 season, beating Carlton in the first week of the finals to set up a grand final berth against Essendon that year. Now, unfortunately for the Demons, they were coming up against what is considered one of the most dominant premiership sides of the modern era, Essendon, who lost one game in the home and away season and belted the Demons by 10 goals on grand final day. The Demons would start the 2001 season with four wins and three losses before dropping off entirely and plummeting to 11th spot on the ladder. This would set off a little bit of a seesawing period for the Melbourne Footy Club. They would bounce back into the top six the following year before dropping into the bottom four the year after that. They would then bounce back into the finals for the 2005 and 2006 campaigns, but sadly, it would be a further decade before they were in September action again. Anyway, guys, that is all I've got for you. That is eight teams that had some of the worst grand final hangovers since the turn of the millennium. As always, I invite you guys to let me know in the comments what you think I got right, what you think I got wrong, or is there a team perhaps that I've missed out? I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate you taking the time to hit subscribe, trying to get to 15K subscribers by a grand final day. I'm way off that mark at the moment, but with a little bit of help, we could get pretty dang close. So if you don't mind doing that, and also make sure you check out the sponsors of today's video, Manscaped, link in the description. You'd be really helping the channel out. Thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.